This is a discussion about evaluating stocks. I am certainly not going to imply that this is the best way to evaluate stocks or even a very good way to evaluate stocks. But it is one way, and it's a way to evaluate a number of stocks by direct comparison. The purpose of this is to show you how easy it is to do that. Let's say that you own a stock and you are looking at some other stocks that you have heard or read or in some way come to notice seem to be going up. Let's say that you own Microsoft and you've owned it for quite a while and it's made you quite a bit of money. Well, how could you evaluate just Microsoft by itself? Well, you could go to Yahoo Finance, for example, and you could type in the symbol, and you could click Search Finance. And you would be very likely to get this picture showing you that, yes, Microsoft has gone up and appears to be going up a lot. Supposing you want to compare Microsoft with some other stocks directly. Supposing you're considering three others, Massimo Corporation, Insight Corporation, and Applied Materials. How do you compare those three directly with Microsoft? You go to this summary view of Microsoft, and you click this place here which says Interactive Chart. And when that comes up, you see this chart of Microsoft Corporation. You can set it for th one month, three months, six months, year to date, one year. I'm going to start it off at one year. And over here where it says compare, is where we're going to spend most of the rest of our time. When you click on that, you can add individual symbols here or various indexes representing the market. I'm going to pick the S&P 500 for the first. When I click that, a new graph comes up in a new color, green in this particular case, of the S&P 500, the symbol of which is this uh, carrot mark, then GSPC. It'll be on the same scale as you have it set for Microsoft. The next thing I'm going to do is to add the three stocks that I am interested in. M-A-S-I for one, and then I type enter. Next is I-N-C-Y in sight. Type enter again. And A-M-A-T, type enter again. I now have all three of those stocks that I was interested in, Massimo Corporation, Insight Corporation, and Applied Materials, all shown on the same chart at the same scale as what I own, Microsoft. 
Let me show you a couple of other handy things to do here. When you hover over one of these, you can set the line for that chart, either the way it is, skinny, or medium, or large. I would put the index that you're comparing all of these against, namely the S&P 500, as a fat line. There it is. The other thing you can do is to come over here to any particular chart, and if you can't tell the difference between this blue here for AMAT and this blue here for Microsoft, you see here are the two actual charts, but let's say that they were pretty close to each other and the blues were not easy to tell apart. Here's the easy way to tell which is which. This is a, an eyeball, and when you click on it, it blinks. And that graph of that particular stock disappears. You click on it again, and it comes back. That's how you tell which is which. So, now that you have this beautiful chart, what does it tell you and what can you do with it? Well, you have a chart of a stock, Microsoft, that you supposedly own, and you have added a chart of the S&P 500 index and of three individual stocks that you were theoretically considering to replace Microsoft. And of course, you want to know how these three stocks did compare to Microsoft. Well, the first thing you see is that you are looking at a one-year chart. This starts over here uh, well before June 2016 and completes in late March. I'm finished. I started this uh, recording of this presentation uh, two or three weeks ago, but it is now uh, the 29th of March, almost the end. So this last year, it shows what has happened to Microsoft. It shows what has happened to the S&P 500. In a year, the S&P 500 is up some 14%. Uh, Microsoft is up about 18%, but over the year, it obviously did, and sometimes it did worse than the S&P 500. And it shows that the three stocks that you were considering have done considerably better than either the index or Microsoft. These two are up between 75 and 100 percent in that year. And this one up here is up 120, I think that's a three, 123% over that period of time. Now, of course, you may want to see what has it done recently. So you could go and change the time frame to one month. And that would show you what these stocks have done over that one month. This one again is Microsoft. The red one is Massimo Corporation, and uh, Insight and Applied Materials are here in the purple and the blue. And you can see that uh, over the last month, there were times when things did very well, but recently, uh, this is about the time when the... Uh, the repeal and replace of Obamacare failed uh, in their first try in the House. So, you have a chart. You have many ways to look at it. You can look at it over this one month. You can look at it over the last three months. You can look at it over the last six months. You can look at it over the last year, which you saw before, or five years.
All that I have tried to do in this mini seminar is to show you that this kind of information is readily available on Yahoo Finance with very little effort on your part.